Yikes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> dude, what are the chances? What are the chances? Rat into this fucking degenerate, dude. Ha ha, I don't have school downs. Ha ha. Ha ha, no counterplay. Hey, Alright boys, get ready for the 40 minute fight, which is me just dodging everything and him still winning. Or he just breaks again, two breakers in a row. Yeah, because he's fucking doo-doo, professional Albion rat. Insta not only Insta partner, but Insta, Insta rat. Has, has complete one for one counter build, has rat. Two rats in a row though, this is Corrupted Dungeons boys, Corrupted Dungeons. Corrupted Lair always hitting different in the morning, for sure. Alright, he might- I hit a Q and he hit an auto attack off screen, I guess, uh, I guess we deserve to be the same thing. I was just out because well, that's how the game works. Shites are so bad, dude. He's literally so bad. What well, doesn't matter because just run. He fights, but now he knows. And he's gonna regen here. I wouldn't be surprised if he trusts the soup. Yeah, soup regen. The soup into Soldier Helm. Okay, that was a that was an ambitious hit there. Hit that. Well played by him. That was yeah, super super well played. I can't fight him now though because, uh, no. Yeah, let's see the super gen. Wow, he doesn't even super there. Impressive, really. Somehow I have more bats than him, but that's, that's all I'll for you. He doesn't have health pot, so this might be the time to fight. Thank you. 
You just got like three knockback bats in a row, dude. Hopefully, for sure. Of mana, dude. He's literally out of mana, and my mage rope doesn't go off because I get bugged. Doesn't get, I like like I literally mage rope. I literally mage rope. I. But I just don't get. It. But if he's out of mana, if he's out of mana, how does he still cast seven spells there, dude? But I mean, it's just well played. Just really well played by him. Really, super well played. That's why he's a, an Albin professional streamer, because he misses 9,000 ability, but he hit three, so I mean, he wins. So it just makes sense. How does his Inferno Shield? Because, because Inferno Shield has a 45% reflect while also making him a tank while in leather arm. So I mean, it just makes sense. Guild Wars player meets Albin. Because, because in Guild Wars, when someone misses 9,000 abilities, guess what? I kill him and his seven fucking friends. But in Albin, if someone misses 7,000 abilities, well, he auto-attacks me off-screen 17 times with a Thet for Cape and he loses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, flip it, flip it too, because then you guys can see that, wow, this guy's an absolute shitter. But it doesn't matter because, well, he plays a counter build and just runs away all day. Uh, really, really good stuff there. Honestly, really, really well, well played by him. He's uh, again just a superior player to everyone in Chad. Nobody, nobody even can come close to him. He's just so good. I'm not even sure how anybody can keep beat with him ever because I mean he's just so big brain and just so so good. Looks pretty good. Would you recommend it? Yeah, I definitely recommend it for sure. It happens, bro. It's the game. Not the, the game is not quality. That's why trash thrives. Yeah, of course. That's of course. No, like, again, in, in Guild Wars, in any other game, if someone plays so fucking shitty, they would never win. Not once. Not a single time. No person would ever frost shot into me, get hit on the slow mobs, miss both abilities, and not be punished there. But Albion Online says no. Oh, and then instantly purges the Inferno Shield. No, not Albion, though. I don't even know how his came up, like, literally 10 seconds before me. Like... <laughs> 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 <laughs>